How to add light rays to your images. Use them as layers to modify and reposition them, transform, create all kinds of unique light rays going across your image from a particular source and still continue to move them and also recolor the design as well. This is for Photoshop, PC and Mac. I'm going to add the light rays to a layer. Makes it easier to transform later. You put them all to the image, then you can't change it. You'll distort the image, all those sort of things. It's best to create a layer. So layer and new and layer. Click OK. Go here, black and white. Make certain this is set to black and white. Go to filter and down to render and clouds. Unfortunately, it's just one effect, bang. It's a random effect, so if you play it again, you'll get a different result. Now, that doesn't look re fairly realistic as light rays. So what you can do, you can apply a zoom to it. Unfortunately, the zoom only works within the confines of the image. You can't push it out over here, which is always a pity. But go to filter and blur and down to radial blur. There isn't even a zoom blur. Radial blur, within that you've got here zoom. And you can set the center. So zoom, 100, go for best, and you can't set it beyond that limit, the document. Work around, I guess you could create all this on maybe a much larger document. That's another way of doing it. So instead of using this image currently, just go and create the same design, everything on a completely fresh image that's 4,000 by 4,000. And then you can, of course, transform it and position it slightly outside that. So that's a workaround if you prefer, you don't like it just from the edge of the image. So click OK and you can see the result. And you can move it around, but at the moment it's up there. But it's not realistic because you, the light might be coming from somewhere else. So it does work if you create this maybe with a larger document. You can, of course, apply it a couple of times. Go to here, filter and radial blur, just repeat it. It's another option. But then, of course, you've lost the image, which is not ideal. So what you need to do, you can go to layers. Go to the layers and you can say darken, color, run through them. You've got light in there or screen. You might prefer one. You might think, oh, you know what? That looks better. Linear light. So linear light, let's just go for linear light. But you could use screen. They all have their merits. Some maybe for some unusual effects. But it still doesn't look very realistic. Light doesn't really go like this. You need some areas where it's not being applied. So you can add a mask. So you go here, layer, and layer mask, and reveal all with that layer selected. So reveal all. And you now got a mask, this white area here. Now it's no change. But what you can do, you can go over here and you can apply a brush stroke. You could also use gradients. Maybe use an angle one with a noise gradient. That can create some interesting effects as well. That's a good option. But I'm going to go with a brush. And I'm just going to use the paintbrush tool, there, brush tool. Set it to about 124. You can vary the size. And I'm going to go with the soft mechanical nine pixels. Make certain the hardness is 0%. And you can apply it. So if you apply it now, you can see what happens. You get black streak there. And where you see that, it will cut. Now do it from the cross that way, from the source outwards. Now it's not particularly, you can maybe make a mistake. You can always change it, undo. And you can see what happens just by adding these streaks in there, you get these gaps from that light. So it looks like there's nothing there from the light going there, but you've got the streaks going down there. You might decide that area, I don't want the light. And you can see as you do that, you can reduce it. And of course, you can always change the opacity here. I'm going with 39%. You could reduce down or maybe go full on. So just apply it and it would then, you can see it a lot darker. And you can see the result just change it just tweak it until you're happy with the, the way the light's going and you might now i personally prefer to reduce the opacity i think that's a bit too intense so i just like to apply it a couple of times streaks in the same direction and you got there 
the light isn't still particularly realistic. You might think, well, it's fine. I'm perfectly happy with it, but you can also color it. So instead of having just black and white, you can always go here and go to layer and new adjustment layer. And you can go down here to hue and saturation. So hue and saturation, click OK. And then once you've done that, you can reposition this, you can make it red, colorize. And I'll go something like that. Go for the yellow and you can change the saturation, change the lightness. However, there is an issue with this. It's been applied to everything, which is not ideal. So you might like to double click that, go down to the bottom here, right down the bottom of this and just click here. And then it's applied just to that layer and then close it. So you can see the effect there. Again, you might say that's a bit extreme and you can still continue to modify it. You can just look at it and think, you know what, now I can remove a bit more of that. You can reduce the, I mean, I've gone for really saturated. You can always change it, double click there and just reduce it down a bit. Make it a little less intense. But you can, if you want, go for full on, really bright, intense and close. You can also, if you wish, copy this the whole thing into another document. So you might decide, oh, I've got another image. I want to use exactly the same effect. So you can just select those, edit and copy. And now I can just say, with this background image, I can just do exactly the same. I can go to edit and paste. And you can see the result of that. Now, the size is different. That's why I said on a layer. Makes it so much easier if it's on a layer because now you can go here and you can just resize it, just reposition it. And now you can reposition the light rays outside of the area. I mean, it doesn't particularly make a difference if you stretch it quite a lot, make it very large. The light rays then can be repositioned. You can move it around. You can say, you know what? I want the hair to be darker or lighter. Just move around and you can still go here, click that, go to the brushes and tweak that. And if you decide, I don't want any of that. You can always go to edit and fill and you can just fill it white, click OK. And you've got back to the complete design. And again, you can go here to black and you can tweak it. And again, just change that, reduce that, move it and reposition it and have the light rays only over particular parts. Obviously, every image will be different. So you might like it slightly more. You might not like it over an eye particularly, so you can always remove it across that eye. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.